Man, man, oh man. In this podcast, man, I'm going to really just stick it to you. Oh yeah, let me not miss the introduction. It's your boy Bass and y'all tuned in to Ends Podcast. We live and we in effect. But this, but you know, in this podcast, you know, not too many times I'm going to say go for what you know, but when you're going out into an industry, you, you're trying to start something new. Like, I'm just saying, you know, your entrepreneur grind, you know, things of that nature. We want to step out there. Go for what you know. And the reason why I say that, right, so, you know, ends, we got our hands to the fashion industry right you know i'm from detroit where it gets cold but at the same time we flashy but we ain't too flashy you know we got our own different type of style but i grew up always rocking hoodies and i always rock hats so when i first got into the fashion game besides the t-shirts and stuff like that because that's how everybody get into it with the t-shirts i made sure that i had to put my brand and my logo on some type of hat because it was like i always wore hats like ever since I was a young boy, like high school, all type of stuff, we was either wearing the scullies, that's what we call like the little beanie, well, I don't know what y'all call them, like the beanie style that you know, that you kind of roll up a little bit. You know, we either rock those styles, the scullies, or you know, you got you a fitted or a snapback on, but you always had some type of hat. So for me, you know, when I was first getting into like the whole, you know, entrepreneurship, man, fashion and branding and all that type of stuff. I was like, I got to give me a customized hat made. Not even just, I got to give me one, had to give me two, had to give me two different variations made. Cause I, you know, that also go for what you know, you need to be able to switch it up. You feel me? You want your hats to last, but you also want people to see that, hey, it's two different styles to these. So when I was first starting out, it was just more so going for what I know. It was like, man, I'm also, I, I I know that I don't really wear too many bright, too many exclusive colors. I'm not really like, I go, like I do got exclusive shoes, don't get me wrong. Um, but I wear like a lot of black, you feel me? So that, and that's why the first two colors I got was black. And people were like, oh man, you should get some more in like multiple different colors. I'm like, yeah, I offer them in multiple different colors. But for me personally, I'm gonna go for what I know. I like black, I'm a black type of nigga. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for what I know. Um, and just for that, I went for what I know. Um, and it was real good, you know, it, it, it caught when people like the black sleek look. Um, I feel like black is majestic. I feel like it's powerful. I feel like, you know, it's, it's just powerful beyond measure. Um, it's the unknown, but it's also, you feel me, it's just, it's just powerful. Um, <clears throat> So just in all in all, that's a, just a, like a little bit of how we really got to like the whole making the hats and why and why we even embody that, why we, we never gonna stop doing that. We gonna always offer hats as merchandise and we gonna always offer hoodies. Cause that pretty much was always like the things, like we'll literally layer up a hoodies sometimes or like, you know, you'll wear like a, a certain type of jacket and a hoodie when you go outside, but we always had on hoodies cause not everybody had huge bubble coats. I won't, you know, I did have a bubble coat. My mom had me in a bubble coat, you know, cause she from that, you know, she from that era where the bubble coats was the thing, but she used to try to put me in a bubble coat and just, we wasn't going. And then also they didn't let really last as long as just me being a kid running around. They get snagged all the time. So my bubble coats always used to get a hole in it or something like that. So I had to resort to the jacket with the hoodie underneath. <laughs> and then also as I got older, we started to like that a little bit more because you're more nimble, you're more mobile with it. You feel me? Cause you ain't got a, a, a big coat, but a big coat do help you out though. If you stand outside of, you outside or something like that. You feel me? When you outside, the big coats help, but the hoodies also help too, cause you can be mobile while you outside. So just depending on what you outside, what you was outside doing, you know, you kind of like to have like that, that 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 option. But a hoodie was always, uh, always part of the mix. You, you might even have on one of them big snow jackets, one of them uh, goose down, <laughs> you know, one of them goose joints, and you might still have a hoodie on underneath. But I ain't gonna go too much in the detail. I ain't gonna talk y'all ears off. Um, I just wanna say, man, go for what you know, man, because we'll, because then that way you can really apply like your knowledge and your skill set towards that specific area or need. Like for example, you know, I'ma just bring it back. Like say, say, man, you grew up babysitting all your siblings your whole life. You feel me? As you know, like. If you go for what you know, and you probably don't really like it as much, but if you think about it, if you, you're probably in the best position to start a daycare. 
once you get the like and the reason i say go for what you know because you might it might just take you to get the legal aspect out the way but if you understand like hey they need this these are the type of people that i need around the kids because i understand they gonna try this they gonna try that you know managing an eight-year-old is different than you know trying to trying to watch a three-year-old you understand these things based off of your experience so you won't be naive to a certain to you know like just to a certain extent to what the process might require of you you might understand that oh okay well i got these two individuals that even though this person may be a little bit older i do understand that at this age you still got to keep an eye on them i already know that why because i used to have to watch my little cousin my little brother little sister uh, whoever it may be when they was that age and when I used to be thinking that they wasn't doing nothing That's when they was doing something, you know, because at the age they're a little bit more sneaky because they know a little bit But they still curious You feel me? I see look, I'm, t I'm talking like I'm about to become like a a, a, a a daycare or something like that, but nah, that's really for one of y'all that's out there That's like currently looking like man. I want to start my own business or I want to do this, but I ain't got the time because I'm always babysitting or I'm always watching You know my sister kids. Uh, I'm always watching my siblings Well, if you think about it, you might get turned that into a business Shoot if you look at it from the aspect of all right, well if I do want to turn it into a legal business, what what will I need? And if I want to just keep, you know, like just make it just like a side hustle just for a minute until I can get into the point where I can make it a legal business, what will I need? So you could just know like what, what to prepare for in the future. You could just understand what you're doing. You can keep growing with it because you always because you already started the, the hardest part, which is doing it. You feel me? That's always the hardest part. It's just getting started. So once you already get started, now nah, just being more consistent being proactive with it and that come with you feel me just being excited just for what you're doing and if you know what you're doing already and you basically help figuring out solutions for what you're already doing you like oh shit, i'm doing this all the time i ain't really i can make money i guarantee you that fire gonna burn a little different like i can actually make money doing this hold on let me figure this out they gonna kind of get the understanding this if this is something that i really want to do or is this something i'm just doing just to help out the family and if there's something I'm doing to just help out the family, I maybe can help them out a little bit more. If I add a little bit extra little kids around the crib a little bit that can mesh well and just figuring out how do I make them mesh well with the kids. That's part of all, you know, that's all about, you know, daycare. You know, how do you get different groups of kids to, you know, be able to play with each other, nap, watch TV around each other without always having to, you know, fight or argue or, you feel me, just getting the, wrongdoings <laughs> it's like no nah. but um i'm gonna just leave it at that man it's your boy bass y'all just tuned in to another episode of ends podcast and i want y'all to go ahead man show us that free love and support man like and share this episode and if you haven't already and you fucking with your boy go ahead and subscribe and you know we the voice of the culture and if you want to you know voice your Yo, yo, love and just loyalty just to the brand. Man, go ahead and cop that ends merch. And when you cop that ends merch, it's like every time you wearing it, you letting them know what you stand for. You letting them know what it is, you feel me? You ends, you making the most of your current circumstance and we the voice of the culture. It's your boy Bass and I'm out. I see y'all next episode.